I'll put a timestamp here. You want to jump ahead um, to see the Sephora haul and my reviews. I just wanted to put this statement in. If you'd like me to make a, another video on my hysterectomy journey, fitness, I'm just trying to think. I can't really think of any other video to make. I mean, we're going to be approaching the one year anniversary of the first surgery and so forth, but let me know. And I'm only mentioning this is because there's been quite an intake of views and comments on those videos. And I got to tell you, they make my day. I'm so happy that I made, just decided to, to make those videos. Um, it's helping you guys. Your surgeries are coming up. It's like, well, all these doctors are just booking. They're just like, let's get these, let's get them in. And I know you're scared and um, just afraid, you know. I get it. Believe me, I get it. But at the end of the day, and I'm telling you this, not only can you do it, it's worth it. And your new life is ahead of you. Keep remembering that. So just wanted to ask you, what else did you want to know? Because I can't think of anything new to film. So with that said, let's move on to Sephora. I was there the other day. I had to make a couple returns, so I'll tell you about that. And then I picked up some new items and, you know, the, the hot. Uh, the hype and I'll let you know my thoughts on that. So what I returned is the Rare Beauty Liquid Foundation, which was a shock to me because I don't recall from my sample way back when I first tried it that it was so drying on my skin. I mean, my skin, it was just showing and emphasizing dry patches and all kind of mess that I normally do not see. Okay, so I just said, forget it, we're taking you back. I also returned the Merit Stick. It's the bronzer stick. It's a new item. And I chose the shade, the shade that was before the last shade, because the last shade is actually the same name as the darkest foundation stick, which I already have. I use it as contour. So I got it. I think it's Leo. Leo's the, the color name. It just popped right in my head. And it's the same color as my skin. I could have just, you know, blended it in as foundation. So it's not going to work. And I don't recall from memory how many shades they have. So they need to add more in. Or It's not like I'm hurting for any type of a bronzer stick. But, you know, Merit is a good brand. I really love their products. And I was excited. Anytime they drop something new, you know, I want to try it out. So I, I took that back trying to think did I return anything else oh mega forever lip liner okay you know the lip liner um cacao c-a-c-a-o it's either that one whatever walnut totally tote you know the, the popular one I got cacao okay I'm, I'm calling it cacao on my skin tone I put it on and I said, this looks grayer than what obviously it looks like, right, on the packaging and stuff. And the more I looked at it, it was like a brownish gray. The more I was like, mm, this is not going to work on me. <laughs> so you have my skin tone deeper, don't bother. I'm sticking and I'm just going to stay with Limitless Brown. And then the one I actually did try on, uh, it's always sold out. It's uh, whatever walnut. I can't get my hands on it, so... Again, I ain't hurting for liners. I'm not hurting for lip liners. So I will take my time. So those those are gone. Now for what's in the bag. So during the whole Labor Day holiday and so forth, they had us for a little, a little good sale on their products. And most of this stuff was, as usual, on my wish list. That's just me. I will take my time. Take my time. So Shiseido's uh, Skin Refreshing Set Wait. Back up. Skin Self Refreshing Tint, Bronze Spectrum SPF 20. So this is just their tinted moisturizer. I grabbed the shade 515. This comes in your know, standard tinted moisturizer tube here. And as expected, this reminds me of the foundation. Okay. It's just a lighter, thinner formula than the foundation. 
and it just gives that nice light coverage. It feels hydrated on my skin. It blends out well. I just blend it out with my fingers call it a day. So I really do like this. I would wait for another big sale. They'll have a holiday sale and, and it goes down at you know a drastic uh, price. That's when I would wait because I feel at full price. We have so many skin tints. You can get good skin tints at the drugstore too. That's why I say you just, just wait. But I'm glad that I got this out of my system. That's another thing. This is stuff, you know, get, get it out of my system. It's on the wish list. And I do like it. Patrick Ta is next. What I say? It wouldn't be a, a Sephora haul without Patrick Ta. This is the new cream foundation finishing powder duo. So for the face. I grabbed tan too. Watching it in the store, the color looked just blend it right into my hand and I barely touched the powder and I wish I had touched the powder in the store because I would not have walked out with it okay so I'm gonna let you know why the foundation itself here again it's a thin texture when I first put it on so day one I was just rubbing it in massaging it in with my hands again I like to really feel it and it just blended right out my fingers I can just you know buff it really fast it's really quick and easy coverage wise it's light coverage I feel it's light coverage we're talking barely creeping into the medium uh, coverage level even with you know a dense packed brush and I say that is because I could see it barely starting to cover like tiny dark spots I have but they're not they're not fresh they're not you know intense in color so I do not see this this foundation texture covering major imperfections powder is very soft to the touch again I'm touching it with my fingers um, it picks up well with the brush you know picks up fine with the sponge and the first time I used it is to set my concealer underneath my eyes now I just used this brush here which is I tend to use a very small looking brush to do that and I'm looking in my little magnifying mirror here and I see all this like shimmer now it's not globs of shimmer but it's very apparent and I'm just like what I thought I actually grabbed the wrong brush then I took a heavier swatch and I did it on my hand well I washed my hands first did that did it on my palm went out in the sun and I could see all the shimmer just doo -doo 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 -doo, shimmering all over the place so this has shimmer particles in it now this is going to be a personal preference if you don't mind that having that already shimmer in it to give you that glow you know that's what you're what he's doing putting it in a little bit to add to that glow the cosmetic glow then you'll be fine with it because I feel the powder itself on its own is fine it doesn't settle into any fine lines it doesn't crease on me I didn't have a problem it didn't feel dry or whatnot very lightweight on the skin but the shimmer I have an issue with okay because if I wanted to use it to lightly dust all over the face I'm having all this you know Tinkerbell shimmer all over my face okay and also underneath the eyes I don't want any of that stuff and I get it okay and it's a business of course the brand's not gonna come out and be like oh you know and the, the little the little press powder with the shimmer in it to help add the glow I get it you know why would they why would they say that you know they're trying to keep everything puppy dogs and ice cream and then you get people you get the ones in the reviews and then no one's mentioning the shimmer okay you go to the actual reviews on the product in Sephora and hopefully somebody mentions the glitter you know the people that actually buy the, the product or <laughs> you wait till I get it and I will for sure tell you that the, the shimmer is there which leads me to another shimmer in the product that nobody said anything but a, a few reviews from people that bought it on Sephora 
Saturn. And that's from Miss Charlotte. Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful skin, radiant concealer. So this is just the sample size, you know, the deluxe size sample you get from Sephora based on, you know, spending $25, $35, however, however um, amount that was. I chose 13 deep. I thought 13 would be dark on me, so I said, oh, I'll just kind of lighten it up. And it turned out to be the perfect color for my skin. So I was very happy about that. And, you know, I love Charlotte and her little glow products. I think she does glow right. That's what the doe foot applicator looks like. That's the color. I was excited to use it, okay? <sighs> Put it on. And I don't use a lot of concealer. That's another thing, too. Okay, we all, we all have our, our preferences, and we do our makeup differently, okay? So I'm blending it out underneath my eyes. And, again, I'm in the magnifying mirror. I'm like... This, as you start to build up, so does the glitter. I mean, it was just like, you've got to be kidding me. This was so apparent on my skin. Absolutely not. I go by what's up close, the magnifying. I'll be doing the Mona Lisa stuff, right? You go, I have to see it up close before you be seeing me tricking, running the streets. No. And then another gripe that I had, again, unless I'm reading the reviews and then somebody mentions it. Otherwise, you know, um, my friend sent me the video, the makeup artist um, was using it. Oh, and it looks beautiful and the little, you know, stripes underneath the cheeks and oh, and I can't look at the product, you know, good, la, 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 la. Ain't no, man. You, one thing you forgot, bro, you forgot to mention all the damn glitter in it but like i said it's a business of course i ain't gonna say anything he got paid to show it and make it look good and then what do we do like a bunch of seals you know we go troop it off to the store go grab it and then be like excuse me i also grabbed house labs new bronzer by lady gaga so it's the powder sculpt velvet bronzer just want that natural realistic sun-kissed look and that is what I get with this color so I did swatch all the dark ones so you can kind of see it here it does kind of look like it's light you know like the lighter or the dark and it goes boom very deep she there's so many colors there should be something that a lot of uh, consumers will fall into it feels like almost like it's a cream like a very soft cream but it's powder it's a really nice texture. I, I do appreciate that. And it is just a beautiful tone. I can build it up. And even building it up, it doesn't even look intense where it's just like a little, little muddy. Uh -uh. This is beautiful. I uh, got two, pro actually three products from Pat McGrath. Uh, two I, I got off Pat McGrath's website because of the sale. She was having a great sale. But these you can grab at uh, Sephora too. So that's why I'm mentioning it. I uh, got the Divine Black. No, actually this one I did grab on Sephora during the sale. Excuse me. It's the eyeshadow palette. Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Duo. So you know, you know all the packaging. But she just has beautiful packaging. Well, the boxes is always beautiful. And then you get to the packaging and it's just like, you know, the... The uh, the high is over. The color I got is Aphrodite Amore. It just looks like nothing. Nothing exciting. It looks like, excuse me, why would you grab that, that shade? Exactly, right? I'm challenging myself. I swirl the colors together. And I really enjoy how it then suddenly turns into this very soft tone on my cheek. And then what I did is I put this on top of the little trick I like to do from Merit that has that cream blush and terracotta. So it has that warm undertone. I said this before, you put that on first and then put anything else on top of it. It just, it, it warms it up a little bit and it just really shows the true color with it. It's, it's, I just love that trick. And this color just looks outstanding. It has, when you swirl them together, just this 
slight sheen to it. It almost kind of looks like, is that like a highlighter? No. But it looks like that, again, in the magnifying mirror. And it's just this, this pink tone. It's just so flattering. Then I got the eyeshadow palette. This one. And this is the Mothership Midnight Sun. If I'm staring at a color story from Pat who uses the same darn tones every time you turn around, it's the same. There's something going on here. <laughs> There's something going on. And I am so happy that I grabbed this one. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm going to keep it in this because I feel that like all her, it's just the outer, all of this is just beautiful. And then again, you open it up and the buzz is gone. It's like, ugh, it's gone because the palette doesn't look the same. And then this, I forgot that the names of the shades are on a piece of paper and left in the box. What's this gonna do for me? What's, what is, what is this gonna do? This, by now, it's not like this brand just came out yesterday. By now, the shade names should be imprinted in the darn pack, okay? Because I'm not just gonna be doing this, sticking it right on top and going like that. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, you can't even close it with, with the little piece in here. So this is just a waste. Again, get it together, Pat. Nevertheless, it's a nice weight. You know, it, it screams luxury. And, um, I mean, you've seen, you've seen her palettes already. The packaging opens up. Yeah! Can you see all that, the, the light? And um, there is the color story. So again, if it's a color story I can get with, then you have me. And I love the tones of the mattes. The mattes work great. I love the tones of the shimmers. They work great too in true Stephanie fashion with the, the shimmers. I just put them all on my eyes. <laughs> That's what I do. And go boop, 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 blend them all in. They stay put and it's beautiful. This I grabbed the other day too when I was in the store. This is the Mini Divine Rose Lip um, Trio. So I do like her lip products. I think the glosses are some of the best glosses on the market. They actually, they just feel great. They have the perfect texture, perfect um, opacity or you know if you get a shade that's that's clear it just goes with whatever it's supposed to do the color and so forth that I feel if I'm looking at her entire line like to me the lip products is where it's at because um, after decluttering my lipsticks my actual bullet lipsticks I have one bullet pat lipstick I remember I put it on that day and it did not go anywhere it did not go anywhere it's a comfortable matte lipstick. I was drinking water all day like I usually do, eating dinner, everything. I put my um, water bottle this because it had the lipstick around it in the dishwasher. The next morning still had the lipstick on there. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a bulletproof lipstick. So that's why I looked at that and I said, um, the only thing I haven't tried from the lip products is the lip liner. So I like it when you get the little set. So this color, the Divine Rose, is $25. And then there's one online, or if you can get it in your store, the Red Series is $15. And of course, the, that one's already in my cart to get. You better wait for me to buy it, get it first, and then go get it yourself. So Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil the Divine Rose. So all three of the shades just have that flattering um, nude pink for the lips. It's going to look all different on everybody. You get the little lips, uh, lip gloss and then the lipstick, which I don't see where the lipstick went. Did I already show it? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Just a you know, little smaller one like this. And that is what the color is, which is much lighter than I thought it would be. But with the liner and the gloss, 
it works out good. Next lip product is from the brand Cali Ray. I've heard quite a bit about Cali Ray and their other products. Not a lot about the plumping um, or any type of like lip gloss or whatnot. So it was on sale. I got it at a great deal. Taco Tuesday, I just wanted something just, you know, basic, nude. I knew what I would be grabbing. So it doesn't have that plumping sensation, you know, the burning. It's full. The texture is so plush. It feels so expensive on the lips. You know, you know what I'm talking about, that plush. Like if you put on the Dior lip oil, you know what I'm talking about, that, that, like your lips just want to go, that's it. That's what that gives me, this beautiful color. And I'm so happy I have it too. I don't think it even has a strong scent. I don't even really detect that. Nope, I didn't actually detect any type of a strong scent on anything that I've used here because I forgot to mention that I want to make sure I mention about scent. Last are two eyeshadow palettes from Melt. These were in the sale too on Sephora's website. Again, they were on my loves list. I Look, if you watch this channel for a while, you know I love Melt eyeshadows. I don't have a problem with any of them. All of them work fine. I know there's all different types of reviews, and this one isn't good, and this shimmers here, and the, this don't blend, and this is too strong a color, and yuck, 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 yuck. Mm, I'm all for Melt. Brunette, okay? So happy that these tones, we're going into the, you know, the fall season, we're, we're pulling out those yummy leaves and the pumpkins and all those just pumpkin, pumpkin spice goodness. And that's brunette giving me that. And another thing I love about Melt is just the color stories, the palettes are so cohesive in such a good way and like how I like to teach on how to apply your eyeshadow going from the lightest to the dark and all you got to do is you know kind of change the brushes to go down in size and then you got your shimmers there's enough shimmers in these palettes where again you can put them all over and use and you use up everything look at these tones look at those tones yummy goodness again light the dark light I just feel so happy. I just feel so happy when I pull out a melt palette. I just do. I do. Because I know I'm going to have fun. I know I'm going to have a good eye look. And that's what it should be about, right? You know, as I'm decluttering my palettes, my shadow palettes, I want to have fun. I want to be pulling out stuff that I'm happy to use. This is what makes me happy too when I when I'm doing my eyeshadow and that that's what I'm thinking too as I'm getting rid of my palette. I just wanted to throw that in as a little yeah you need to be having we need to be having fun. Life is too short. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Um if you're new subscribe leave comments again hit the like button all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next video which will be hopefully very soon. Take care everyone bye <music>